what's up you guys uh, welcome again uh, today I'm going to be uh, showing you what my haul is from this lady that um, is in the town next to mine it's uh, Vallejo she has uh, some succulents in her in her garden and um, it's not as uh, flamboyant as if you will <laughs> as mine uh, she she has um, really selective stuff um, in her in her yard and um, she's just I, I think she's just growing at the cell so I went over there because she was having a liquidation sale and the sale is for um, two dollars a pot and the plants are not two dollars small they're kind of yay big so um, they, she had some some um, echeverias that I really like that I didn't have or something that's similar uh, they have a different name so but they some of the echeverias that she had were similar to what I had so uh, I just went over there just to see what she had um, in case I um, see something that I don't have then I can add to my to my collection already uh, because my my garden is really because I held back the the watering in the summertime. Um, it's it's doing they're doing great, but it's not as uh, pro prolific as I want it to be. But um, hopefully this this season it's gonna start progressively, you know, multiplying for me so I can share it with you guys um, on my Etsy. Um, I also have like uh, about three or four. A trace of pots that I'm going to also um, have a sale pretty soon for in time for Christmas so um, that and if you can see behind me you see those spam containers I'm going to turn them into a planter so uh, I'm gonna do a video for you uh, hopefully um, you guys can learn from it and save your cans and save them for for planters or whatever you want to use them for they can be pen holders or something like that but it's really cool when you decorate them um, and and up up upcycle them so today uh, I'm gonna show you the, my haul from from that lady's house and um, just show you what they are and hopefully you like it and um, I'm also have I'm I also have another video coming up and hopefully I get this done I I want to do so much for this uh, project because it's for someone special for someone to someone specials and um, you know uh, I just wanted to to make it in in honor of their lives so um that's coming up that's upcoming uh hopefully i get the pro there's the, a big thing that i want to do for it so just to commemorate them but uh it's gonna take a little bit of time but that's not gonna be the next video but it's coming up um then we have the planters uh i just want to give you like a snapshot of what's upcoming um i'm gonna show you how i pot those uh the new little planters that I got what else and you know guys I it's like I really don't want to buy more plants because I'm really running out of room I'm we're thinking about putting a fence in in front of the house because my yard my front yard is pretty big and I mean I could just fill that with succulents why not right uh, I'm getting old and decrepit so <laughs> It's kind of harder for me to go out there and spend like as much time as I used to um, I used to like spend eight hours a day, you know, just being in the garden doing all that stuff but um, lately it's been uh, Have like a problem with my shoulder like I don't know what's going on I have a massage therapist coming tomorrow to you know to kind of um, See what's going on there, but you know, I mean that's just the wildest of every year something happens <laughs> like i I'm, sh I'm pretty sure some of you can relate to that but also i've been getting some feedback on some some of my videos that um it's really concerning because um i feel like and i want to reiterate this to everyone everyone who 
um, watch who's gonna watch the video that um, I'm doing this from experience okay um, it's like going to college if you go to college and you you learn all the tech you know technical things about what you want to what you want to be in your career um, you learn the technicalities but seriously once you learn you know you get your diploma you go out there get a job you still have to learn you still have to learn how how the company that you're working for um, applies your education um, to their you know customized way of doing things and I just get some hate sometimes and I, I just want to clarify that what I do is from my experience I'm not saying that this is the end all be all of the procedure of what um, I'm trying to do like let's say planting like the kind of soil like how I'm mixing my soil and all this stuff it's just what works for me and if you can and if you watch all my videos you'll see that even I change things sometimes like the different soil you know the you know what works best so I'm just learning as I go and and I'm taking you guys with me so that you don't have to do you know all the work like I'm just kind of helping you guys out to um, you know be the guinea pig to see how things are done and what the results are but there's some people who are like hey, no, that's not the way it's supposed to be like why would you propagate in water when you know it's easier to do it I, okay fine the water propagation I just found out the water propagation is way faster because it's like right submerged into water I mean you, you're getting all the nutrients that it needs and you know if it was it works for some succulents and some other, other succulents it doesn't work so um they get mad at me because it's like it, it didn't work for them and it's like okay but there are certain things that the certain um characteristics of the leaf that has to be um you know the right uh situation for a water propagation yes um like ioniums barely ever semper vivums forget about it um you know the jade plants takes forever like the only um ones that i see that propagates really fast are echeverias really the echeveria leaves and the graptovarius any varia you know varia or sedum you know those things they propagate this fast you know but if you're gonna put a semper vivum or um uh like a kalanchoe even they take a long long time you know the fatter the leaves the more nutrients in the leaves the the faster it propagates that's all i can say um and i've been doing this for at least four years now and that's what my my observation is that and um sometimes you don't even have to propagate from the leaf the leaf will just propagate itself into the nodule of the stem okay what a concept but what i'm trying to say is is that you can't dictate what nature will do so you know if you're just like watching the video to find something that's wrong with it you know it's like move on come on i mean life is too short for us to be worrying about stuff like that so um again i'm here to just share with you what my knowledge is about succulents which i'm really passionate about um you know uh vermicomposting uh you know i have like the best situation here because our our um our weather is really really nice here in, in napa it, it's very conducive to these kinds of plants but even even some plants are not conducive to this kind of climate um, there's little microclimates and different parts of my garden that I plant different things because um, some succulents don't thrive in it, you know, but most of the time they thrive in southern facing sun. So that's that's the best sun, you know, even if it's in, like direct sunlight, um, you know, it's different situation. That's why this is why I have hundreds of um do i have hundreds of videos already i think it's more than a hundred um so that i can share with you and if you watch all those 
um, videos. Uh, hopefully you do, but um, I'll force you to watch them. <laughs> I'm not forcing you to watch them, but if you do watch them, you'll see that it, everything evolves. You cannot dictate to nature what it's gonna do next. Okay, it, it, it's it, they just they they have a mind of their own, so to speak. I'm not saying they have a brain, but the way God like um, the way God designed it is that it's it's very unexpected you cannot have a result you know you have a general result for each one but um for every step of the way it's not going to be the same thing so um we can't control is the word that i'm looking for we can't control how um our plants will react to to whatever environment that we give it you know, so that's why I'm sharing to you what my environment, because I'm not anywhere. I'm not everywhere. I'm in one climate and this is like, I made it perfect for the succulents. I'm the one that adjusts to them. I'm the one that says, okay, it's very, it's very rainy. I'm going to cover you up right now, even though they love the rain. Um, a little bit more rain too much rain and their feet are wet all the time and it's cold you gotta cover them you gotta cover them so that you know they don't get too much pressure from from the environment from from the inclement weather so you know I I mean I don't mind the hate I don't mind um, the the criticism but it's like think about it first before you say something like if you're dizzy because my my video is too fast going through you know like um the succulent garden it's because i'm at i'm at a, i'm at a um a tour so i have to keep i have to go where how they're going you know i can't say okay let me stay back um and miss out on the information that they give us um so that i can not make somebody dizzy <laughs> so if that's happening there's a little uh thing that you can click like right above where you can slow it down um if you really if it, that's important if it's if it's that important to you then then that's what you need to do and some people are saying sometimes my my videos are quiet you know like i, I don't speak up enough there's a volume guys i mean uh yeah so that's just a little bit of reminder you know i'm not um saying that you know don't criticize me because i can't take it i can take it i'm a big girl so um that's all i wanted to say and then the next the next segment of this video is my haul so you guys are going to enjoy this because i did <laughs> thank you guys bye xoxo bye bye hey guys so i'm going here in this little t um small succulent oasis her name is linda and she is in Vallejo and look at all these beautiful choices of succulents and she only has it guess what two dollars so if you guys are in local in the area she's open pretty much every day you can find her on Facebook what's your name on Facebook? Erlinda Del Rosario Gumeran Erlinda Del Rosario Gumeran. I'll have what? Gumeran Gumeran, Gumeran. So she'll give me her name and I'll put it on the uh, bottom of this video. And look guys, she has, she's been doing this for three years. And she has this awning right here that her husband built for her so that it doesn't get too much sun. And that's the $2 table over there, but she has all the other stuff also. Look, look at this one. It's not pretty. It's a huge dinner plate, Echeveria. Her prices are very, very reasonable. Look at this big Dix Pink right here. I think this is a Dix Pink. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what that is. Just some awesome. She's having her liquidation today, and that's why she has. A, she had a lot of responses in the area and she has some stuff that's like really rare like I just got this I'll show you guys what I got later on I'll, I'll do a video 
repotting but this I got this guys look at this cute monkey's tail that's so pretty and she has she doesn't have a lot of it to sell but hopefully soon she has enough to propagate and sell to you guys so if you guys want to come um, I'll have the I'll have her name down the bottom and um, find her on Facebook and then you can message her to see if you know when you come but uh, yeah she's located in Vallejo very nice all right guys there she is say hi <laughs> hi guys all right so let's talk about the haul guys so these are um the what i ended up with what is that that looks like a thread i don't know why there's a thread there okay let's talk about this one first this one was a uh Echeveria that was given to my husband um, for boss's day isn't that f so pretty however I don't know why the leaves the, so this one started to go up I don't know I think this was um, left somewhere or there's too much peat moss in there I'm gonna have to get rid of all that because I don't think this plant any Echeveria likes or any succulent will like that peat mossy I don't know who um, planted that but it's too peat mossy looks like somebody didn't really know what they're doing okie dokie so let's talk about what I got from that that haul so first of all this I don't know what this is but it looks to me like a it's gonna be a huge edge of area and because I already look it's almost as big as my hand um, but yeah these are the two dollar ones was it this two dollar one yeah these are pretty much all two dollar ones except for now this one right here I believe <laughs> I don't know why she did this but um, this is actually a flower head so why she buried it in the soil I don't know but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all, all the the leaves and just leave the this head and and plant it by itself then we have this it's pretty nice too this is also an Echeveria. Two dollars, guys. Can't beat it. Hmm? She's uh, having a liquidation sale. So, um, I paid $33 for all of this, except for this one. This right here, because that's from my husband's. But look, oh no, no, yeah. This was the, um, this I paid a pretty good amount of money. This is the uh, string of dolphins. I've always wanted to have one, and now I do. And hopefully it thrives for me. And copper rose. Look at the babies in there. So cool. Um, then there's another, I think this might be an afterglow. I don't know. I'm not sure looks like one right so I mean the the soil is pretty good and I don't you know I just probably will re replant it in a bigger uh, planter this is the same one as that other one I showed you that looks like this All right. So yeah, look at this haul, man. This looks like a elegance. This is um, must be an elegance right here. This is another Echeveria that I don't know the name of it. It could be um, Embercada, but I know this is an elegance because it's really light colored. And this one is probably a Letizia. My guess. Um, now this one is uh, 
Oh gosh, what is that? Harmsai? I have quite a bit, a bunch of those. And, you know, I just bought it because it was $2. But otherwise, if it wasn't. Oh, and then we have the paddle plant right here. This, this kind of looks sickly, but that's my luck with the paddle plants. This is a Kalanchoe something. I don't know. This is a, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, that looks like a Fulgens to me. Or a Tsunami. Maybe. I don't know. She doesn't know any of the names of the, some, he, she knows some of them, but not all of them. So, your guess is as good as mine. This is some kind of a paddle. I mean, not paddle, but a kind of a Kalanchoe. But there's an extra plant in there that doesn't look like. That doesn't look like. This is like a volunteer. And that doesn't look like the same plant, but this is. It's fairly nice, fairly nice. So I asked her what she used for uh, to fight mealybugs, and she said malathion. Like malathion, what is that? I have to read up on that. Just by the sound of it. Oh, look at this one, guys. That's really cool. It's like a... I don't know what, what that is. But it looks like it's a, f a spiller right there. But it has hair. Or like spikes. There you go. You see the spikes? Yeah, that's kind of weird, huh? Alright, next. Copper rose, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. I showed you everything. I did. I showed you everything. So you got everything. i um, really concerned about this Echeveria that my husband got for, for Boss's Day. Because it just seems like it's about to do something. And which is not a positive. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to get everybody back in here uh back out there because they're in pretty good shape um i'm just gonna wait until they outgrow their pots not so concerned about it but i am concerned about that one so i'm going to move everybody back in here and i'm going to repot that one because i know i know this these plants are trusted okay they're trusted. I know where they came from. I know it's a local lady um, from Vallejo and she takes care of the plants. I've seen her plants, but this, don't know where it came from. Did not know where it came from. I kept it in my uh, windowsill in the kitchen just to see what it's gonna do, but it, look. They, they were all like laying down like this. This one's already up. So I'm pretty sure once I repot this, it's really, look, I mean, it's soaking wet. And I never even watered it. And I think I watered it once when I got it. But because it's um, peat mossy, I don't trust that peat moss. I'm sorry. I'd rather that, that, that they're... Um, their soil dries up fast rather than having them to sit in this really wet situation right here. I mean, it's just like, like if you can imagine babies like sitting in their wet diapers, this is what's happening. So I don't, it's not comfortable for, for her. Oh, by the way, um, I was out there in the garden today and I noticed that there's a lot of ants again. Ants. My biggest, most hated, like, 
nemesis, the ants and the mealybugs. And the reason why I don't like ants is because I can't imagine anybody out there really friendly with ants, okay? Um, the reason why I don't like ants is because they farm mealies. They farm mealybugs and because um, they like the, the sweet uh, nectar of the mealybugs that they get. So they farm them, take the mealies and they move them to different plants uh, and carry them because they like the sweetness of the the sticky substance that the mealybugs, you know, um, excrete. So, sorry, I'm I'm trying to clean all of these up before I take it outside. Um, I did water them when I um, the other day, not when I got home, because I wanted to monitor like how dry they are so um i i watered it the other day when i saw that it was really really dry and so anyway so i was out there and i was looking around and i see me not mealies but um the ants lots and lots of ants and and as a matter of fact this morning when i got my coffee there are ants on my countertop um, see, the thing about it is, is I spray for mealybugs regularly, all right? But since this, ever since this, this where we live here in Napa, it, we have, um, it's very uh, rural, rural, meaning there's a lot of vegetation around here um, because of all the vineyards and stuff like that. So there's more vineyards than people, to be honest. No, not, no, I shouldn't say. I should say there are more vineyards than houses. <laughs> more vineyards than people. Oh my gosh, that's too funny. Um, no, we don't live in a backwards um, area here. <laughs> but that's uh, what I noticed. And so I noticed that there's a lot of ants when I moved here for me. So I looked online and as a matter of fact if you guys have ants I will have the the link for this uh, tarsal it's called tarsal and it is so potent as a matter of fact I have a video in the past I don't remember when but you guys if you guys are interested you can like look it up but it's I found ants in my yard and when I sprayed it with with water um, they all came out and as a matter of fact all the queens came out so I took that pesticide and it's a pesticide for everything by the way not just ants it's for aphids for uh, like silverfish all that stuff uh, and it was oh amazingly also when we moved here there was a lot of fleas i don't know if it was from blue because they're like next to us or from the other neighbor next to the other side of us oh my gosh there's so many people like we like people live on top of everybody like we all live on top of each other here and it's annoying because of like right now it's my tr the tree my neighbor's tree that is just um, in the way of the happiness of my plants. <laughs> so I can say about it. Anyway, so I saw the ants, so I sprayed with this tarsal um, because I saw it in my kitchen, and that's not acceptable. I've never had ants in my kitchen before, okay? So apparently I slacked off with this uh, pesticide that I was religiously spraying because you have to um, spray every three months uh, it, it only lasts three months so every three months I would spray however the last time I sprayed my sprayer just like jacked on me like it, it just broke and it wouldn't um, spray so and I only have uh, two sprayers one for this uh, pesticide and the other one for my succulent pesticide so i didn't really want to use my succulent pesticide to use for this pesticide 
um, but I had to so today I sprayed the heck out of my yard like I, no it's no more mr. nice guy so hopefully um, I don't see any more ants I've seen some of my plants where there's ants everywhere and I know that the, that's what they're doing they're working really hard those little buggers uh, working really hard to um, farm those uh, mealybugs and then in these same plants I saw mealybugs so what I did was I actually quarantined them just put them aside so that no other plant will get contaminated and I sprayed first I sprayed with water water because you know mealybugs don't like water so that's the first thing you do is spray spray it spray the water spray it with water spray it off with water because you know I mean I would spray it with um, with alcohol but it's been so hot lately that I am afraid that the alcohol will kill my leaves so it's not it's it's water for now it's water for now and then um, then I sprayed with my my pesticide my other pesticide the uh, tarsal so that all the other insects would just die and I just sprayed the heck out of my yard and they're also good for fleas by the way good for fleas I mean it works so well my dogs never had fleas in their life and since we moved here they were like flea fleas everywhere and that was unacceptable again so I had to I have to spray it with that and also to put uh, the Seresto or uh, yeah Seresto Seresto flea collar because that's the only one that really worked to get rid of um, the fleas on them. By the way, by the way, <laughs> I would say by the way. Okay, you said so copper rose. All right. It, is this copper rose or is, is it a multicollis? I guess it's a, I think it's a multicollis because I have multicollis. I don't know. It could be a copper. I don't know if it's a copper rose. That's not a copper rose. But that's what it says. So I don't know. Um, this is definitely, unless I'm wrong, you guys. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that's an afterglow. You know? And I'm hoping that that few of these ones I don't have. Oh, look, there's a spider already. Dang it. Should have sprayed this. No, I did spray this. Um, like this one, I don't think I have that one. And this one definitely don't have. And then the um string of dolphins i definitely don't have i think i have this i have this this i think what is this i'm going to behead this one and take this and i'm just gonna leave the stem and see what happens that's what i'll do i'll leave the stem in and see what happens maybe we'll have babies in this nodules from the nodules look at that beautiful cut right there that's a beautiful cut right there maybe not oh yeah it is it's just a little bit left but um definitely going to propagate these leaves because this is a flower stalk that too that one over there the big one over there guys that's a flower stalk pretty sure so I'm removing. Yuck. Ay. See? And I'm just gonna leave this stock in here and see if the the these nodules will produce babies for me. Maybe. I don't know, maybe. Um this one is kind of whacked out, so just gonna throw that away that's not even not worth it uh, 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 uh. this is a good 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 cut right there that's a pretty good cut 
it's hot guys it's it's october and it's 90 degrees out there like late october and it's freaking 90 degrees today are you guys jealous because i'm not but i'm also not jealous about zero degrees but if it's beautiful i wouldn't mind it so much Oh, I wish you could, I wish you could focus on this cut, like, come on, focus, because I want you to see how beautiful that cut is. And then I'll just leave this one the way it is. And I will put this one aside to replant later. And here's baby cakes now. <laughs> the original um, pot where I got the uh, plant that my husband's co-workers gave him put it right back put this one beheaded um, in there by herself so she should be good again don't water it for 10 days guys if this was yours <laughs> I'm going to repot him I'll take a picture of it and put it at the end of the video this is a beautiful plant I don't know the name of it um, and I'm not even going to start to guess because I really don't even know what kind of plant that is. Look at that. Look at that soil that just came out of that planter. That's like all peat. Who would do that? No wonder this, this plant is trying to protect itself by bending the leaves down like this towards the stem that's what one indication that your plant is not happy is when they're doing that i'll show you look look how it's bending down it should be up like this one see that and then there's like bites i don't know what bit it there's just it's just not being healthy right now Hmm? Guys, look at um bury that like this. Backfill it around and put some rocks. Then I'll be happy. Maybe I will do an update with a picture or a little video a few days from now. We'll see. And here she is in all her glory. And no sooner than I removed all that wet and peat mossy uh, soil, this is starting to go straight again. Like I just noticed just in a few minutes that I've been um, handling it and arranging it, it started to, like this is still bent, but this these down here below are starting to straighten out. So I'm not even gonna touch it and i will update you tomorrow or the next day we'll see Alrighty, guys so that's all i have for you today thank you for staying and thank you for watching and make sure you like subscribe and donate if you find that there's um good uh, you got some good tips out of, out of today's video and make sure that you um donate whatever you can i'm not i'm a simple girl i'm not picky so see you guys later x o x o <laughs> bye